Why am I nervous? Okay. Hello, my name is Elise. That was an aggressive hello. Hello, my name is Elise. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a crochet tutorial on how to make these daisy granny squares. Sometimes they're called uh, flower power granny squares or 70s retro daisy granny squares. Essentially it's just a daisy on a granny square. Um, this is not my own pattern, but I have adapted about three or four patterns I've found online to kind of make it the simplest for me to use. So I wanted to pass that on to you to see if it was easy for you to follow as well. Um, what you're going to need today is a crochet hook. I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. And if you're using the prim series or any other hooks it might be known as G the G hook and then you're gonna need four stitch markers and whatever color yarn that you want I use medium weight acrylic yarn honestly I'm just using uh, it's called big twist it's Joanne's store brand yarn it's very inexpensive and I just got a million beautiful colors and I decided what I wanted to make later with it so before we get into it I wanted to let you know I am a beginner crocheter that ended up just finding a bunch of tutorials online when I wanted to do something with my hands and I uh, really just dove in right away. I didn't watch like a basics of crochet video or a crochet 101 tutorial from beginning to like end. I just jumped in with a project. The way that I've structured this tutorial is essentially for people like me. So I wanna basically trick you into learning how to read a crochet pattern um, and all the abbreviations and what you would find if you've been crocheting for a while and you know the ins and outs of it. So I'm, I'm combining the mix of showing you with my hands how to do it, but also writing the pattern as well as drawing the little figures of what you would see when you are reading a crochet pattern, like in a book with the little symbols and what a single stitch and then a half double crochet and then a double crochet. Like I want you to learn all of it all at one time so that you can kind of go to your next project and you feel like you have all the nuts and bolts already in your brain without really trying. So um, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it's helpful and um, I'm excited to go through this process with you. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna start with that middle round at the beginning. So grab the middle round color that you want. So for me, that is this pink color. I'm super paranoid that I don't have uh, disk space or battery on any of my stuff because I've done this so many times and run out in one of the cameras that I'm using. So if I like keep looking, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna start with our slip knot. There you go. And you can do like the magic ring or the magic loop or whatever it's called. I have never needed that or wanted to learn that. I have always just been able to do a chain four and then a slip stitch in that first stitch. So that's what we're gonna be doing for this. So you're gonna do a chain four. So one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna go back into that first loop and slip stitch right there. This is gonna be what we're gonna work our eight stitches into. Um, be careful to not work into this little loop right here. That's actually just the end of your four chains and it can be confusing, but you don't wanna be working any stitches into this spot. What you really wanna do is pull it open a little bit and there's a hole right in the middle there. That's where we're gonna be working our eight stitches into. So move this tail over this way and go into that hole right here. And you're gonna make your single crochet. So one, you do eight. So one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're going to take the tail, sorry, you're going to take the tail and hold your work and just kind of pull it tight so that it closes the circle in the middle there. It's not going to be perfect. There is going to be a little bit of space, but that's okay. Just slip stitch into that first stitch to complete this and make it a, a circle. Just like that. And now you're gonna chain three. So the second, the second row, you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. 
This isn't gonna count as a double crochet. This is just a way to increase the height of your row so that it doesn't kind of lean. And we're gonna do 16 double crochets around these. So each single stitch is gonna have an increase um, with two double crochets in each single stitch. So back in this loop here, it's kind of hard to see, but this is that stitch you slipped into. You're gonna do two double crochets into that stitch. So yarn over. One, two, it's gonna look like three right now, but trust me, those are just two double crochets. And now you're gonna do two into each crochet. Make sure that you count and see how many you have because the base circle here is really important. You don't want to have too many and then end up having too many petals because um, that will kind of make your square a little bit wonky. So go back and count, leaving that chain three at the start out of your count because that one is going to be covered up when we slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now to close this up and finish that second row, all you're going to do is skip this chain three and go into the top of that, that first double crochet right there, that stitch, and just slip stitch to close it up. Chain one to lock it in, cut your yarn and pull through. And that is the middle of the daisy. So you're done with this color now and you're gonna trade it out for the color of your petals. So our petal is this like mint blue. So I'm gonna go grab that color with the color that you want the petals to be. Do a little slip knot and put it on your crochet hook. You're gonna be adding three double crochets into a single stitch, skipping a stitch and then chaining one and adding three double crochets into that next stitch and repeating that all the way around that middle circle. Load your new color and then go into that stitch right there and kind of move the tail out of the way. And just pull that new color through so it's workable. Just tighten it up. Now you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And that's gonna act as your first double crochet. So yarn over, go back into that stitch, do two more double crochets. So now you have those three double crochets right there. To map it out to make sure that you are gonna be even all the way around, you just wanna look at it. So if you skip this stitch right here, we're gonna go into that one, that will be two petals. Skip this, three petals, skip this, four petals five, six, seven, eight. So that'll work out perfectly. So you have your petal here. You're gonna chain one in between each petal. And then you're gonna do three more double crochets into that stitch right here. So we're gonna go into this one. And I like to work over my yarn tails so that I don't have to weave any ends in at the end because I'm really bad at having the tenacity to <laughs> do that at the end of a project. But you don't have to work over your tails. Okay, so chain one, skip the next stitch and go into this one. And do three double crochets. One, two, three. 
Okay, chain one, and just keep doing this all the way around until you get to the back to the beginning. So chain one after your last one, just count that you've got eight. The first time I ever did this granny square was I did nine petals instead because I did a couple too many double crochets in the center. And then I didn't understand why I couldn't get it even and it didn't look right. So just make sure for sure you start with only eight petals. <laughs> so after you get that eighth petal, chain one. And then what we're gonna do is go in between that three chain there that is acting as the double crochet in that second double crochet. Just go right in the middle of that space and slip stitch. And you just finished the first row of petals. Don't cut any yarn off or anything. You're gonna pull up a loop so it's really big. And we're gonna leave that on and we're gonna be working with two different colors at the same time. I know that sounds intimidating, but it isn't, just trust the process. You can also, if you wanna make sure that you don't lose that loop and like, have stitches accidentally rip out. You can also use a chain, uh, a stitch marker just to secure that so that we definitely don't lose it. Um, and you don't need as big of a loop too if you use a stitch marker, but you also don't have to do that. We're ready to move on to the um, background color of the granny square. So our color is this like tan beige color, so we're gonna grab that. You're gonna do another slip stitch, or slip knot, onto your hook. Am I recording? Yes. <laughs> I'm paranoid. So go into that skip stitch and push the petals back. We don't wanna be working behind and in front of the petals. We want it to be out of the way. So bring that new color through, just like that, pull it tight take that tail and kind of put it to the back. We don't want that to get in the way. There we go. Kind of be careful to not like jumble up the two yarns that you're working with. It's gonna get like a little messy sometimes, but just make sure and pay attention that you're not like knotting everything up all together because there's nothing more frustrating than trying to untie all the yarn. It's, that's my nightmare. Okay, here what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. That's gonna be your double crochet. Now you're gonna, between each double crochet that you're gonna put into those skipped spaces, you're gonna chain four in between them. So this is your double crochet, three. Now you're gonna chain four more. One, two, three, four. So you're gonna have seven total. And then you're gonna do another double crochet into that next skip stitch. So put your yarn or your hook through, push the petals out of the way and do your double crochet there. There you go. Now chain four, two, three, four. Go into your next skipped space. What I, when I say push the petals out of the way, what I mean is we don't wanna grab our yarn with the petals in the, in the middle like that. We don't wanna pull the petals like that. So instead, when you do your double crochet, push the petal out of the way and do it only in that round. Just do this all the way around until you get back to where you started.
after you've chained four and you've gotten back to that first double crochet that you did with the three, you're gonna count up the, to the third stitch. So if you look here, you have one, two, three, and then you should have four stitches in between like all the rest of them. So you're gonna put your hook into that third stitch up there like this, right in the middle, and then slip stitch. And that's how you'll close that up. There we go. This is kind of what it should look like. So again, we're not gonna cut any yarn off. You can use a stitch marker, just slip it in there so that you don't lose your spot. And then we're gonna start working again with our petal color. Take your stitch marker out of your petal color and pull that to the front. Now we're gonna chain three. This is the only time you're gonna be working over this alternate color. So one, two, three. So that first three are, is gonna act as your double crochet. So you're gonna be doing one double crochet in the first stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, so increase, and then one double crochet in that last stitch right there. So four total double crochets for um, each petal uh, for this row. So that counts as one. So push the back out of the way. Go into that stitch. We're gonna increase here. Two. Looks a little messy, but it'll kind of start to take shape as the petals kind of are forming. So now we chain two in between each petal and we do the same thing all the way around. So go into that first stitch and do one double crochet. Increase on this stitch to do two. And then one double crochet on that last stitch. There we go. Now chain two and just keep going. And now we will chain two. And then go between that first double crochet and that second double crochet into that space. And we're gonna slip stitch to close that round out or that row. So this is kind of what it should be looking like. Now we're gonna go back to working with our background color. Pull it through to the front, just like that. Really, really don't wanna tangle this up. Okay, we're gonna chain three, and again, it's gonna be the only time that we're going to be working over this petal color. Every other time, we're gonna be pushing the petal out of the way. So we have that chain three, and that's gonna act as your first double crochet. So go back in to that same stitch, and we're gonna be doing two double crochets into each stitch of the background color here. So go back in and do another double crochet. So now you have two double crochets. 
And now in between each one, we're gonna do five chains, so chain five. Now you're gonna go into this space and increase with two double crochets into this stitch right there. It's one, two, chain five, and do this all the way around. And then we're gonna slip stitch in between those two stitches right there to close it up. Pull up a loop. That's what it should be looking like. I should have eaten because my stomach has been growling this whole time. <laughs> All right, so pull that um, daisy color back to the front and we're gonna be working back with that again. Put your little stitch marker off to the side. Now you're gonna chain three for your double crochet. Chain three. And now we're gonna take each daisy. Right now it has four double crochets at the previous row. We're gonna take it and make five. So the first stitch, you're gonna put one double crochet into. And then the next stitch, that second stitch in the, in the line, you're gonna do two. So move the background color out of the way. And you're gonna put two double crochets into this stitch. Now you're gonna do one double crochet into this next one and one double crochet into that last one. And there you are, you'll have five double crochets. Now in between each petal, you're again gonna do chain two. And then do that for each petal. So go into that first stitch there, just like that. Move the background color out of the way and do a double crochet. And then into that second stitch, you're gonna do two double crochets. So increase that one. And then into this one, you're gonna do one double crochet. And then into that last one, one more double crochet. And then chain two, do that all the way around. chain two and then go into that space between those that first double crochet and that second double crochet right here 
you're gonna slip stitch right into that. So now this is where we would usually um, stop working with our petal colors. Ooh, there's like an emergency back there. I'm so nosy. Another day. <laughs> okay, so this is usually where we would stop working with our petal color, switch colors to our background color and keep going. But we're actually not gonna switch to our background color. This is gonna be our final row of the petal, which is gonna be where we add the little bump to the top to make it rounded at the top so it's an actual petal. Keep the uh, petal color on your hook. Where you slip stitched between those two double crochets right there, we're gonna actually go back in and do one single crochet, just like that. You're gonna skip a stitch and you're gonna do five double crochets into that middle stitch, skip a stitch and do one single crochet into that last stitch. That single crochet we already did, skip and then do five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Now skip this stitch and do a single crochet into that last stitch there. And that's gonna give you that rounded edge on the end of the petal right there. So now when we go to our next petal, we'll chain two and do that again. So that first stitch here, we'll do one single crochet. Skip this stitch and do five double crochets into that middle stitch. So skip. One, two, three, four, five, skip do a single crochet into that stitch. And just keep doing that. Now chain two, and we're gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet from that very first petal there. So go into that stitch. And you just slip stitch. Now chain one to kind of lock it off, and then we will cut that yarn because we are done with our petals. And pull that tight, and that, is that are our petals, <laughs> that, those are our petals. So we are done with our petal color now, so you can just put that off to the side so it doesn't get confusing. And from here on out, we are gonna be doing the rest of this background color here. So when you look in the back of this, it's gonna look pretty crazy, but you're gonna see this outer ring here. That's that five chains that we did in between here. So what we're gonna do for this row is, we're gonna pull, pull that background color to the front. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna chain three. So 
So this is your first double crochet. Go into the second stitch there and increase that. And so do two double crochets in that stitch. So after you have those three double crochets into the middle section there, fold the pedal, fold the pedal forward. And then we're gonna be working in this like bar of five um, stitches back here. So you're gonna do five double crochets into this right here. You don't have to go into the actual stitches. You're just gonna be working over the bar like that. So you're gonna do, that was your first double crochet. Do four more, two, three, four, five. Now fold the pedal back to where it was and we're gonna keep doing that. So we're gonna go into this next space right here. Sometimes it can be hard to find. So really pull this so that it's in the center there. And you see this stitch right there. We're gonna do a double crochet into that and make sure you're working in front of the pedal, not over it. And then two double crochets into this stitch. And then five in the back over that bar. So just keep going all the way through. So after you did your fifth double crochet behind in that back loop here, we are going to join this row by going in between that first double crochet and that second double crochet and slip, doing a slip stitch. So in the space between right there, slip stitch. So essentially, this is the base of the granny square. This is gonna be where the granny square kind of stops um, in terms of like the daisy. And now we're gonna start adding the border and square it off and then make it as large as you want it to be for your own project. I'm gonna show you how I make it this size and kind of why, um, but this is what I want my uh, granny square to look like. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is from here, I'm gonna add one single row of double crochets all the way around, just so that I can make this a little bit bigger before I start squaring it off. So all we're gonna do for this row is just add a double crochets all the way around until you get back to where you started. So from your loop here, you just chain three to get your height to where you need it to be. And then into that next stitch there, just do a double crochet and then all the way around, just double crochets. We have just done our last uh, double crochet here, and this is that chain three we did at the beginning. So you're gonna go and slip stitch in between that chain three and that first double crochet there. Okay, so we have our circle and now it's time to start squaring off. So um, you should have 64 stitches in this circle if you've been following my pattern. Um, so we're gonna be working in 16 stitch increments for um, each corner. So grab your four stitch markers. So from that loop that we have pulled up, we're gonna be counting 16 stitches and on that 16th stitch, we're gonna put a stitch marker because that's gonna be our first corner. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. For our stitch marker there. There 
13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. So you should be ending that stitch marker pretty much right before your loop here. So once you have your corners mapped out with your stitch markers, you are going to do three double crochets, three half double crochets, three single crochets, three half double crochets, three double crochets, and then the corner stitches, which is two triple crochets, chain two, and then two more triple crochets into that same corner spot. So a total of four stitches into that corner spot. So let's start on that first side. The first stitch you're gonna do is a double crochet and just making it for the height, you're just gonna do the three, so the chain three, and then you're gonna yarn over and do three double crochets to start. So this one doesn't count as a double crochet, it's just to get your height. So you do three double crochets, then we're gonna do three half double crochets. Now we're gonna do three single crochets. Now we're gonna do three half double crochets again. Now you should have three stitches left, one, two, three, and you're gonna do three double crochets. So do you see how we went from long, a little less long, short, a little longer, and then long again? And that kind of makes up for the roundness. This is how we square it off. So from here, we're gonna go into our first corner stitch, which is gonna go two triple crochets, chain two, and two triple crochets back into the same stitch. So take your stitch marker, and this is our corner here. So we're gonna yarn over twice, Go into our corner and do our triple crochet. And back into that corner spot. Now chain two, this is the corner. Now do two more triple crochets into that stitch. So we'll have a total of four triple crochets with that chain two in between in that whole stitch and it's gonna be the same pattern all the way through for each side. So double check, you have 16 stitches in between here. So one, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect, that 16th stitch should land um, at that next corner. And we're gonna do the same thing. So I just finished this last corner and before we slip stitch into this little space here to kind of finish this round up, you're just gonna wanna double check that you have an equal amount of stitches on each side because we're gonna add a border to this and no matter what we add on top of this square, if it's not even, then it's just gonna keep getting more lopsided as we go. So if you're working with granny squares, you wanna make sure that obviously they're a perfect square so that it doesn't, you don't you know, get into any trouble when you're joining them. So you should have 19 stitches on each side. And when you count this one, you're gonna skip that chain three that you did for height. So now we're gonna close this up by slip stitching between that chain three 
and that double crochet right there. And we are ready to move on to our last step. If I can ever get my hook out of the yarn. <laughs> Now, originally I was stopping here and just letting this be the granny square, but when I started to block them out, you still got a little bit of this roundness here. I realized I could just add one more row of double crochets um, and it really made it a lot cleaner. Like I haven't blocked this at all um, and it still looks pretty even all the way around. So grab your granny square and you're gonna chain three and you're just gonna add double crochets all the way around, and then you're gonna do two double crochets in the corner, chain two, and two more double crochets in the corner for each corner. So the next stitch here, you're just gonna double crochet, and just keep going all the way around till we get to that corner. I realized as I was editing this video that I kind of forgot I was filming a tutorial by the time I got to the first corner of this last round. Um, so I'm gonna explain what's happening in the footage as I watch the footage so that you can kind of get a good sense of what that first corner is supposed to be. Okay, so we're going along. This is the last double crochet on the side. And this double crochet, that's the first double crochet of the corner. So that's one. And then I'm doing the second double crochet. And now I'm gonna chain two and I'm gonna do two more double crochets into that corner spot. And that's the corner. So that's one, and that's the second double crochet. And then I'm just gonna kind of make sure that it all looks good. Skip that three chain right in the middle here. Slip stitch. And then chain one to lock it in. And then you can cut your yarn. Pull it tight. And that is your granny square. Now I just have to make 55 more and I'll have a sweater. <laughs>